Hey folks, Stoner here with the Upstate Music Channel. We're going to do something I'm not supposed to do. Something taboo. No, not that. I am going to do a band review. You know, they say there's a right way to do things, a wrong way to do things, and a Marine Corps way of doing things. Guess which way we're going to do it. And I don't bump my mic. Give you a little hint. Do something called the after action review. We're going to do three downs and three ups. And we're going to do this in the purpose of uh, improvement. To gain better function, to gain uh, experience, to, to see where another set of eyes saw you do something, looked at your performance, and give you a little grade on it. Man, we're not going to do that that way. We're going to list the three downs. All right. They had a little static in the guitar at one point for a few seconds but you can't really say that's a down because it happens to everybody the reason wireless so that's not really a down but we're gonna count it as one uh just you know just because we need one and there's not many to, to go on on this uh i can't really think of three things they did wrong or down or or something they could really improve on Majorly, there's nothing. They did a great job. It was an awesome show. Uh, Try to think real hard on this one. Something they did wrong. They hired me. Okay, us two. Ah, they didn't play any Waylon Jennings. Sorry, I just, just. Ah, and here's one. They have originals. I didn't hear any. So, yeah, guys, play your originals please it's just not play originals every everybody not just streaming september play play originals but we can't really say anything about that because it was their debut show at wild country and i wouldn't have did them there that night either until i got a feel for the place so yeah okay let's get into the three ups because i can't really think anything they did really wrong wrong or anything it would be like you know great element going okay you get this score out of this you set up the stage you set up sound and it worked and you did a good job all right what they did right they showed up on time that's that's one most they sh and they showed up set up went great uh, real laid back. They took care of, took care of business. Got everything going. Um, some big, big positive things they did. Um, oh, uh, I could spend all day on that, but um, they did uh, a, a variety of, of shows. Well, one good thing they did they they wrote the set list that night on site. That sounds like something a winky, but uh, it's not. It's actually a good thing. Just think about that for a minute. They show up, uh, debut place. What are we going to play? We're a rock band, and this place is called Wild Country. We're a rock band. What are we? Uh, they got a feel for the place, and they did their set list. So there's a one big thing they did great. Um, uh, something else. Let's see here. Uh, they're just they're awesome uh they did some duets uh with the man and wife on the, i'll get i'll tell the names in a minute I'll tell who they are but uh they crowd engagement was unreal i mean it was uh, they, they i'm gonna do two 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 up some crowd engagement this is something y'all really really need to look at and one is uh there was no silence on stage none whatsoever somebody was engaged in the crowd the whole time if there was silence, it was seconds, and those, you know, a few seconds and, and on the stage really don't count, not in that part of it, but uh, just a couple seconds. Like, there should be no longer than three seconds of silence on stage, you know, that last note, bam, one, two, three, hey, folks, how'd you like that, or whatever, woo or hey, you know, who farted, you know, whatever, <laughs> but yeah, they were, they were a great band, but they actually... Not only crowd engagement, they uh, singled somebody out. Um, a guy named Tim, he he uh, comes out, he used to come out to the pub, and he's the hell yeah guy. You know, I know his last name, he's friends with me on Facebook. I hope you see this. Tim, you're awesome. Big supporter of music, he's a great guy. Um, but uh, you hear hell yeah in the back, that's him. 
Um, and they actually like, hey, dude, they they pointed out like, we hear you, we hear you, man. We you know you're you talking to us. We got you. Actually, a conversation and engage with the crowd. Uh, they did a they did an awesome job with that. And there's no silence on stage. And they had the crowd singing a little bit. And now that I have another condenser mic, I can put them across the room from each other. I might be able to pick up a little bit more of that if that happens again. I hope so. But yeah, they they did a. This is a band review, but it's really like a band shout out because those guys did a great job. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of things they can have done better. But there's about 500 things I could have done better that night too. I was tired. It's like everybody else, and you know, this isn't their full time job. It looks like it is, but Patrick, the lead guitarist, he, he he's a truck driver. Um. I don't know what the other other ones do for a living. Um, sorry, but the band is Christian, ah, son of a, Christian on bass and Steve on drums and Patrick on guitar and vocals and Clementine on uh, lead vocals. And she is a hell of a front person. Absolutely amazing. Great vocals. Uh, just amazing. And Street in September is playing at Pinkies in Greenville on July 23rd. So check them out. And always check them out on the Upstate Music Channel because they're on here now. And they've got a little 8 gig, 8, eight not 8 gig, 8 song. Uh, and all those songs will come out later. But there, it's on like a little concert thing. I've got it on here. Look for Street in September. And... But this is my band review of them. If you do, you go check them out on social media. And I'm going to try to do these kind of brand reviews. And uh, I might do it the night after the show. So it's really fresh in my head. But I, I can't really think of anything they did wrong. And if you get a chance to go check them out, please go check them out. And uh, always thank you for watching the Upstate Music Channel. And the two people that I met this weekend that's been watching, thank you. And thank you for coming up and talking to me. I that, that, that means the absolute world to me. Um, that people, because I'm going to try a few things here. We've got trivia, history, and channel updates on Tuesday starting. I'm going to start that. Kind of like a podcast, but I'm going to cover all the little stuff like that and maybe do a few band reviews in there. And <laughs> trivia, history, and channel updates. THC Tuesday. You know what else is going to happen. But this is going to, this is a few weeks away because in a few hours I am going to be sedated. And have a bunch of teeth removed and implants started the process for. So I am going to be out for a few weeks. So, but yeah, for the people that, that came up to me this weekend and, and, and literally introduced themselves, and I cannot remember your names because I'm terrible with names, thank, thank you so much for watching. And th thank you so much. I mean, you, there's somebody who's telling me about Sunday Night Sets, and I'm like, uh, people watch it. They're not. They're, they're sitting there and they see the bands and, and the Sunday night sets thing. This is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying. I know I'm doing some of them with just one straight band, but I'm trying to get like, like Streeting September and the Hot Notes. Let's say I put them together and you know several other bands. Well, people fans from the Hot Notes will see them and be like, oh, no, I like that song. You know, let me check these guys out. Or somebody from Streeting September will see. Uh, uh, you know, one of their fans will see the hot notes. And uh, matter of fact, uh, Patrick, the guitarist, mentioned Neil McJunkin at the gig. Uh, said something about him. Uh, I can't remember if he taught him how to play or if he he knew him from back in the day or something. I can't remember exactly what he said, but he did do a little shout out to him, which is I think was cool because Neil Neil's an awesome guy. He's one of my favorite human beings in the Upstate. But anyway, that was my review of Street in September. There's not really anything they did wrong. Um. You know, the sound was a little off because they're running sound from the stage. Because you can't afford a sound guy because the venues can't afford to pay you because they've got crap to deal with. I'm going to go off on a rant here big time. South Carolina music venue crisis. Look it up, look it up, look it up, look it up, look it up. Go to the link tree. Yeah, it's, I'm tired of talking about about that. I really am. I'm tired of talking about it. And the reason why is just because just it, it's, it's, it makes me sick when I see it because it's nothing but a money grab for attorneys, the attorneys that wrote the law. It, 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 it gets under my hide. 
anyway, come out the wild country on Wednesdays and uh, Sundays for Open Mic, run by Ronnie Ellis. Great, fun time. You're going to love it. And go out to wild country on Friday and Saturday nights. I do have a little cover. Uh, there's new owners in there. If you didn't know, Terry Fox is a new owner. And they're doing a hell of a job. And it is, 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 is starting to do great. Uh, I like that place. It's awesome. Uh, go check it out. Uh, that's where Alabama first started playing. But like I said, this was a review and kind of a test run on the, the Tuesday thing. And kind of let you all know I'm going to be out for a few weeks. And I love you guys. And the people, like I said, introduce themselves to me. Really, thank you. But this is me. I'm out. And I'll see you guys out on the flip side. See you on stage somewhere. But thank you so much for watching the Upstate Music Channel for music, country. For, ah, I messed that up. I'm going to leave this in here. We're going to have our own blooper reel in this little podcast. That's what I'll call it, <laughs> the podcast. Or putts cast, one of the putts. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching the Upstate Music Channel for rock covers, country covers, a little bit of disco, a little bit of trivia, a little bit of comedy. And unfortunately, a little bit of me, the Upstate Music Channel, like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for supporting the local music. And check out Streeting September at Pinkies, July 23rd, and every Thursday they'll be released here until I run out of their videos. It'll be a couple of weeks. Thank you for watching, and wish me luck on my surgery because they're they're going to need it. Because I'm I'm a handful. I'm a freaking ham. I'm two handfuls. Oh, that probably didn't look really good. Oh well, I'm, I'm, yeah, my boss is gonna yell at me. Thank you for watching. Stoner out.